Now we will begin with the part one, the MCQ or the electronic part for the grade 10 elite. The first question is from lesson 1.3, matrices. Now here we have word problems, mainly word problems in this topic. Let's break the question down one by one. The first part of the question is, Analyzing data, a school track coach summarized the distance runners on his track team using the table at the right. You can see this is the table. Organize the data into a matrix. Now what this means is, here you have been given values, right? Distance runners were cross-country runners in this column, track over here, and number of girls in this row, and number of boys. All you need to do is write them in a matrix form. So when we write in a matrix, we write a big bracket like this and write the values 19, 22, 17, 15. This is it. This is the answer for the first one. But let us understand what this is exactly. You can see this horizontal line, right? That is a row. I'll write row one because there are two rows and the below one is row two. What about this? That's column one, column two. Row is something that is horizontally like this, each rows, whereas columns are vertical. So this is it. If you understand so much, now let's relate it to this given table. What exactly implies the rows? Rows are all the total number of girls, right? Because it's clearly mentioned it's girls. So row one means the number of girls who are distance runners. And row two is total number of boys who are distance runners. What about column one? Column one is about cross country runners. The total number of cross country runners in the uh, both among bo boys and girls, whereas column two is track runners. So that is uh, what, how we can analyze it. So the first answer is just this much. Now, what is B? Add the elements of each row and interpret the results. Now we just interpreted it a while ago, but now let's add them up. Row each row. What you do is add these up. So it'll be 19 plus 17 and second row is 22 plus 15. So we will be 636 and over here it'll be 537. So these are the answers. What does 36 represent? The total distance runners who are girls and 37 are the total boys who are distance runners. That's it. We can see the answers here. You can see 36 distance runners who are girls. 37 are the boys. And last one, add the elements of each column. So now we just did rows, now let's do columns. Columns means this one. Now let's add them up. It's 19 plus 22, that is 41. And what about the next one? It is 17 plus 15, it is uh, 37. Sorry, this is two, 30, uh, 32. So now 41 of them are cross country runners and 32 of them are basically track runners. That's what we come to know over here, 41 and 32. So you, you just have to, you know, this is all selecting, you know, uh, you will have four options. So basically they might just tell you interpret the row two or column two. So you need to tell it's 32 that are total number of track runners. That's it. Now, another real world problem, a charity sold tickets for a three day fundraising event. Tickets were sold individually and in gift packs as shown in the table over here. A ticket sold for $3 and gift pack for $6. Now, I'll just write it over here. Each of these tickets were for $3, $6 for the gift packs. Use matrix to determine the total revenue for the three days. All the three days, how much did it cost? So what you need to do is we have to use a matrix. So let's do the same thing. Now here there are three rows and two columns. Let's write 155, 208, 321. Now here it's 40, 96, 131. Now what we basically do over here is add the columns because they are clearly told find the total revenue in three days, right? There are methods. You can even do matrix multiplication to get this. Basically, it's three. Um, no, you can just do over here three. And you can do matrix multiplication, but don't want that because it's just complicating. I think so you have uh, problems on that in the coming topics. But over here, the easiest way to analyze and understand is all the tickets that are sold at this particular row. So what happens is it'll be 
155 plus 208 plus 321. Just use your calculator because we anyways it's MCQs. Let's take our calculators now. Now what you do is use your brackets and then just type in the first column 155, 208 and 321 and then multiply it with the cost of each ticket. It's three, right? That is the total amount of revenue generated for selling tickets. But now since it's MCQ, they don't want individual and everything. You just need the final answer. So add this with again a bracket, all the others, 40 plus. Add the uh, gift packs which were sold. So 40 plus 96 plus 131. Close the bracket and multiply it with 6. So this is the cost for uh, gift packs, isn't it? So the total revenue generated was $3,654 from this particular fundraiser in three days. Now, if you're thinking about columns, if they just ask you, say, what was the revenue generated in day three only? So what you need to do is whatever tickets sold in day three only multiplied with three, add it with 131 times six. So the answer, you can see over your final answer will be 3654 and that's it. Okay, these are interesting problems here. You can directly do it in the calculator. I'll show you. We are not going to write any uh, matrices now, but we're just going to write equations. So they want you to find A, B, C. And you can see this is a matrix equal to the other matrix. They have clearly mentioned as well. They're equal to each other. So what happens is each row in this, each, sorry, uh, element, this, 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 is equal to each other over there. What, what it means is A plus C is equal to 6. Now what about the next one? Minus 1 is equal to B. And phi is equal to phi. Obviously there's nothing to do in that. It's only constants. But whereas 4 is equal to C minus 3. You can just take it to the other side and solve it up over here directly. Or you can use your calculator. I'll show both the ways. Over here A will be 6 minus 3. That is 3. B is negative 1. And over here, take it to the other side, C will be 7. Now, there is a way to solve any simple linear equations directly in the calculator. That is, instead of A, like this uh, first element, right? Type it as alpha x, unknown variable. Then type the numbers. Plus 3 equals how much? It's 6. Press shift and solve. And then equal to, that's your answer. Same way for the uh, C. 4 equals c is unknown variable take it as x minus 3 shift and solve and the answer is 7 and over here b is equal to negative 1 it's direct so those are the answers it's 3 minus 1 and 7. now we have to organize the information in each table below using a matrix now this is very straightforward and silly problems i mean silly in the sense there's nothing much in this okay all you need to do is write all these numbers in a matrix form like this that's the answer because they didn't ask you to interpret nothing they just told you to write in a matrix that's the answer even over here it's the same thing just write it in matrix now here you can see one two three four five rows and two columns and over here there is five rows and four columns you don't need to write this the uh, titles N not write no need of writing names or anything only the values are written in the matrix and that's the end of the question one. I hope this is clear. It's a very basic topic. There's nothing much to, you know, remember or anything. It's just basic stuff of matrices. Just um, be careful when they ask you to find the revenue for one day, two days. Be careful what they ask. Read the question properly and do the operations accordingly.